Hi everybody. I'm Henry Lee. We have our stop town. Um, today I'm going to finish this um, two paintings that we did in the uh, past weekend and a uh, in-person workshop. This Terry. Terry is going to collect them. So I will mount the painting now as finishing touch. Um, as you know, the either the uh, rice paper or silk, um, you need to finish with a, either dry mounting or wet mounting to stretch it. Uh, this this silk is wrinkle free. However, you know you, you still see a little. Um, and given this, you know, after painting, you want to um, stretch that. Also, uh, mounting will make the color stand out. We'll bring up, bring back. Um, we have two approaches. You can mount the painting directly, and then transfer it to a permanent support, uh, or you can mount the backing paper, the support first. And then put the painting on. So I'm going to use method B, which is mounting the the back that backing paper first with the the silicone adhesive. You can use any. Um, you, like a pH uh, neutral paper, drawing paper, Bristol paper, multimedia paper, watercolor paper, or museum board. This is uh, the uh, specialty paper we use for straw mounting. So it's, it's uh, not very thick. I can still roll it after mounting. Uh, it's about maybe 70 pounds, I will guess. Uh, it should be less than 90 pounds for sure. So it's a paper that, it's a wrap, a cotton paper that comes with a coarse side and a uh, shiny side on the back. So this has some teeth that will make it easier to adhere with the, uh, the silicone film. So now I have a silicone film attached to the to the backing paper. You can iron this original painting if there are wrinkles. Um, so this this wrinkle free silk I don't need to do that. You can also spray some water to relax the uh, painting or uh, on paper or, or silk. But uh, because the size of this this uh, painting is very small, so I don't need any uh, moisture. The the uh, humidity in the air should be enough. So just iron on the silk setting a little higher above, above silk it's between silk and wool so you don't want to iron for too long just uh, like uh, 10 seconds to 15 seconds and then check the and you see the uh, let me just fix this because the uh, protecting paper now is uh, stick on the on the uh, paper. I have a little extra margin that will make the alignment a little easier. But you know you don't miss any adhesive because the that the adhesive is a, a little bit larger. But uh, uh, let's see, okay. So this is the protection sheet. Now it's done. You can also use uh, just you know, uh, 
and then pay for this is um, what we use to do other projects. So it's large, slightly larger, maybe a little easier to operate. Okay. This is the one. And you can see how vibrant the color is now. And then to do this one, this is uh, a heavy color style, opaque color style. If you do wet mounting, it might smear. Uh, so you need some uh, special treatment like almond um, to fix it. Anyway, so we're going to do dry mounting. We don't need to worry about that. I put this uh, silicone paper facing down. And then iron it. That's a P, right? Method B is relatively easier than method A, which is mount the painting first and then ion to the, the back. See if the backing paper is uh, larger, it may stick on the pad. That's why I'm using a cloth instead of a denim cloth, instead of felt. Because uh, if it's felt, the, the uh, adhesive is hard to remove. This one, I can just rub it off easily. I've been used to this for many, many years. After it cooled down a little bit, peel this, peel this uh, release paper off. We got the uh, adhesive on top of the backing. Now I put the, the painting facing up. Don't make any mistake. This is this is the back. Okay, this is the front. Of course, you want to make the front facing up. And uh, make sure the pin is on the adhesive. So this, again, I did a little larger, so I don't worry too much. Just make sure the pin stay within the backing paper. Now I put this back, back, this back on top of the painting to protect from the dusting or dirt on my iron. And iron again. From center to the sides. Okay. Right, left. Because the, 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 the size, the, I mean the measurement, the thing is small, it's really easy to do dry mounting. If it's too big, I may do it with a wet mounting or other professional service, you know. Because iron in a large painting is a little challenge than this. So if you have smaller painting than 27 inch under 27 you can always do dry mounting without much problem but if you have like a four size 57 inch it might be problem to do it at home you know i see this may, may stick on my cladding it's okay now um just peel this up here, just lift it, and then you'll see the color, the, the true color of it. 
Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So <clears throat> this is uh, uh, the heavy, heavy pigment style, heavy color style with the uh, opaque and combination of opaque and transparent. Uh, you can put the transparent glaze on top of the opaque or uh, some underneath it to show through. But anyway, if you use opaque and known, you will get a chalky, uh, like pastel effect. So if you want more color add, you know, to add saturation, you need to combine opaque with the transparent color. To learn more, you can watch my previous videos on Gongbi's painting and uh, join my online class so I will give you personal help. Thank you. Happy painting.